What's up everybody? T-Bird from Natural Selection Tour. This is Behind the Battles. This is an in-depth look from the riders themselves of all the runs and all the head-to-heads that went down at the Yeti Natural Selection in Jackson Hole. We pit them together in the studio so they can give us a rundown of what went down when they were head-to-head -head on hill. This is a long day of snowboarding for these riders. But that, uh, that, that Olympic mentality, that, that competitive pedigree in the final at Natural Selection with me. Show me what you got, Pandora. In the men's final, we got to watch Sage Kotzenberg versus Jared Elston. Now this was interesting because all week long, Sage was riding like a man possessed. He looked unstoppable. But what made Jared such a terrifying competitor is the fact that he was riding like he had absolutely nothing to lose. And on top of that, he had the entire snowboard community from Bend, Oregon rooting for him. And it's this exact dichotomy that created such an epic men's final. Let's jump into the studio and let's find out what was going through their heads as all this drama unfolded. Big air, what's good? Chilling, bro. Ooh. Analyzing. What's up, everyone? Sage Kotzenberg. I am 28 years old and I'm from Park City, Utah. I'm Jared Elston. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Bend, Oregon. Uh, all right, should we get this? Let's get it popping. Yeah. Sage Kotzenberg, pride of Salt Lake City, Olympic gold medalist. This is the one contest he's never won and he wants to win it. Here we go. The big show. Yeah, I thought I broke my binding right there and I just uh, strapped in it. I had that thing clicked down. Absolutely no powder up top. Coming down, <laughs> coming down the side of Shamani on that one. Back seven, Japan. Hectic in this corridor one right there. Kind of a, kind of a hold on for dear life situation. Right Always there. has been. I kept trying to get over to the booster shot all day, and I gave up in the finals, and that's why I went not everyone, super far around. Not everyone can make it over there, yeah. you know? Yeah, spinning, uh, spinning right off, it did not help me. But yeah, I couldn't even get over at the top every time. King was like, where are you going? I was like, booster shot. <laughs> the drone guy's just like... Gabs over the drone, <laughs> trying to go over, and I'm like, I'm over the other landing right here. <laughs> yeah, right here, I was like, Cat five, cat nine. Dude, five. you knew you were going cat. Everyone like, knows you're going yeah, cat nine. I was like, right that was like a dagger in the throat on that one. And then also wanted to go hit the ladder right there and landed and just kept going over here where T. Ricky originally went. And I actually hated this jump I kept ending up on. Dude, this zone just looks bad. It was <laughs> When you resort to that little I, butter three, you're just yeah, like, the oh, butter dude, three. I'm done. And then down, down here was when it got Yes, it was, there's was zero powder anywhere. It was like a hold on for dear life. That jump just like ice pit into the aspen. Yeah. You like... <laughs> yeah, I know. And there, was a, there was one aspen Legs tree I kept. Legs are so tired. I never knew which side of it to go on. So, I mean, I honestly, going into the cab nine was like, that was my dagger. I was like, at the top, I was thinking about all you guys. I was like, if I lay, I'm putting some pressure on you. But didn't really look like I put uh, too much pressure on you up there. You had like 40 homies at the top. Dude, I had the whole gang so just like... Sick. So sick. <laughs> had that all of, all of Bend, box. Oregon just rooting against you, which was nice in the booth. Yeah. Um, you got to have... But that, you know, equally filling me with spite. Exactly. You were spite boarding. <laughs> it, yeah, there, is, was, there was some major spite sometimes. boarding. Yeah. But that, uh, that, that Olympic mentality, that, that competitive pedigree to say, Jared, young Jared, we welcome you. Yes, yes you've done all the things. Also, this is what it means to be in the final at Natural Selection Ooh. with me. Yeah. Show me what you got, Bend Oregon. Yeah. All right, vibe right here. Let's get a vibe, Jared. Vibe right here. I was like, I didn't have too much. I wanted to step, I was like, I knew I didn't bring something together, but I'm like, all right, the double back key in the cab five, like I can probably keep that. And then I was like, all right, back boost, side of the booster dog. is yeah. kind of where I need to pick up some slack. The double back here right here is just an absolute batchy staple. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that was bachelor right there. 
Yeah, just into the cut. But respect the swindle right here into the... This zone is deadly. This zone's deadly. And to do like the butter into like the cab five is lethal. I know, I was like... Oh, it's right before dude, the right, lift. Right before, because I wanted to do so like deep. some sort of like steezy front one in like Ollie, but then I was like going through the battlefield. I'm like, I, I wish, gotta keep I it I sometimes wish you could really do the run exactly how you envisioned and then watch how you actually do your and so right here i was like so focused on the seven that like maybe didn't, you didn't know. <laughs> didn't, didn't really gauge my speed and then just yeah i went like 20 feet further than i probably should have but caught the last little you board length of transition literally otherwise a board I, length of train and then i just you see it savage ragdoll oh. just like double flip is it kind of soft in there or no? I mean, like, not, I know it's not soft. But it, did you no. catch any soft or is it I mean, there was fresh, but it, the fresh wasn't. You bounced right back. Soft. That jumped kind of I a lot. <laughs> the BMX, I'm like, I was also like, am I getting docked for this bail at the end? <laughs> like, I don't even know. It's so gnarly coming yeah, in there. Yeah, I don't it's think Heel so. side chunder field into the what bottom. Yeah. Jack Matroni instant mic in your face. <laughs> Oh, there's been some brutal slams today. <laughs> it's a lot of courage on the show today. Whoa. Yeah. Coming for you now. Yep. No, you got it. I think it's such a sick format when you're going through their heats. And like I wasn't really talking to Blake about my runs before. But then he was at the top. He's like, yo, you got this, dude. It's cool as you go through to have, have the riders that do get knocked out kind of like chirping in your ear a little bit and yeah. definitely yeah. it definitely helps and I think it makes it a really cool yeah. dynamic yeah I mean right right here when I was about to drop in I just knew I needed to, needed to land something to put the pressure on you because that's the beauty of going first is that if I stomped it and if I could just land as clean as I can you have to land the run yeah. and that's what I knew I thought you were gonna maybe even jump your up, run up again because I was like I was like man it's it is finals and that's the vibe and I'm, I know how you ride I mean definitely can pull some rogue tricks out of his uh out of his repertoire there so I was I was, I was of, out of my ass yeah out of your out of his ass out of his ass where I keep most of them I yeah it's a good place to store tricks actually. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I was just like I need to stay bored down on this one and just and just send a message to Oregon right here. This is you, this is you, you've got this. I mean, dropping in this, I knew this trick for me just works out really good, especially on this hit. When I figured this one out against Nickel, I was kind of like, I don't know, I kind of like literally didn't think she could fall on it. Like, that was my energy, but the front seven is, that, that one, that one was the one that I was most worried about in the running. The cab nine comes around goofy and, and, and you can see it almost the whole time. Same with the back seven, chicken wing, but the front stab for me, like in that snow, I just, I know how I land those, which I'm literally like riding away on my heels. And I knew I could just butt jack. So I was, I was like going full power tri triangle, fully clenched, pucker, just like, go oh, survive this one. And then I landed. Yeah, that one really put the pressure on. Yeah. Ended up going completely right again. <laughs> the other landing right there. Right. Cab nine kind of just comes around. And then again, I wanted to get over to the ladder and just that tree was vibing me out. I was going so fast, kind of kept on my heels. But this part of the run is where I thought I blew it. And I thought that when you when you did come down that I could uh, maybe go to, we could, that we could go to tiebreaker. Cause I just like shimmied through all that stuff. My mind was just blank. I didn't know. I was like skipping those kind of little hits. Like they kind of sucked anyway, so I was kind of over them. But I was doing the stale fish, and in my head, literally right there, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I was like, I just left the door open a little bit right yeah, there. Like, <laughs> look, at the, Dude, look at the vibe at the, the top. The entourage, that's Brian sick. Fox, board caddy. Like, that's unreal. So dope. Literally so sick. This is like a gladiator coming in. Dude. And at this point, it was like, yeah, there was pressure, but I was like, all right, we're in the final. Like, this is I'm doing balls pretty good to so the far. wall. Yeah, this is. But I was like, 
after like the first run, I was like, all right, this is actually pretty fun. And, like, you don't feel like once you drop in, you're alone. So it's just like you're treading down a hill. So, yeah. Dropping in here, it was, it, it was like, all right, here we are. Like, nothing to worry about. Like, just put it all out there, and if you don't fall, or if you don't land, that's fine. Like. A little butter in, and I was like, at this point, like the double backflips were so easy. Like, no came back at him. I don't know why I wasn't grabbing. Like, for some they're reason, they're kind of steady without the grab, though. Yeah, I, don't know. Yeah. I think they're just maybe a little less blind without him. And I'm just like, all right, just get on your feet. And there's, so, yeah, there's something more like raw. I don't know. Like, sometimes the double wildcat to me is so text, like, right. so textbook that like you kind of were laying them out a little bit. And I thought, yeah, like, I, was, I would give those maybe a little bit more points over just like a double wildcat, right. And so then coming in right here, there's a point where like I was coming out of this heel side chatter and I felt, I think my back binding loose and you can see me like reach down to fucking tighten it as I'm coming in. I'm like, what? Am oh, I it was right there. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, yeah, front binding. I'm like, what am I doing? Like I didn't tighten my bindings down. Like, <laughs> uh, oh. But then I was like, all right, I knew that I needed to ditch speed from the last run. And I'm like, all right. I know to do back seven. It's like just yank it and then the, yeah, to come in. Yeah, that what that last little yeah that last little heel side you put in the hand my hand drag marks just like Roman de Marchi, Roman de Marchi <laughs> dude, just like <laughs> all day full de Marchi vibes off the lip on that one. Yeah, and then dude, that landing was so insane. <laughs> I from the bottom, I literally was, I literally was like shit, like this is. This ain't good. You landed on the side of the landing and stopped. It. Yeah, like somehow like, it worked out so good. Dude, he's good. not gonna like he's not gonna fall after that because he has so much adrenaline going. And back in. This so sketchy, just like tree tapping. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Hit the tree. And then just like still like hauling like right here. I'm like, dude, <laughs> like did I just get busted for that? Like, yeah, I mean, do they better not? That, that right there, I was literally like. We might be going <laughs> for one more right now. I know. This I was is, hoping for. I'm like, crazy. let's go. Three, dude, yeah. finals, like, yeah. let's do this. Like, we can, dude, like, come on. Yeah. Damn. Wow. Oh, oh. dude. Just shot. Yeah, so dude. good, man. We got we ourselves got a champion. Well what a battle. That was, uh, that was that much sick going against you. I, I, I feel like when coming into this event, everyone's like, T-Rice, you know, Torstein. I kept telling people, I was like, dude, Jared and Gabe, <laughs> just because like they're coming in with, I don't know how you guys felt, and maybe I'm completely wrong on this, but like no pressure, but also pressure being the young guns. But like you guys could come and just chuck. And, totally. And, no, like, no prove, one, like, and prove it. It's like no one, if you guys lost in the first round, everyone's like, oh, they're like 22 years old. That's all, you know, yeah. they're new on the tour. But I was like, dude, that's why these guys are the biggest threat, I thought. Nothing to lose, you know? And Nothing I was just watching lose. you guys ride up in Canada and we were riding like Woodward, just thinking like, dude, these guys are so mentally clicked in right yeah. now. I've been working really hard at like riding in the backcountry for a while and I'm super passionate about it. So like, yeah, getting the invite was insane, but I knew I had this skill set for it. And like, I knew that maybe a lot of people didn't know who I was, but like, I wasn't worried about that. Like, I know what I got, like I'm coming in and like, I kind of had like a little bit of a soft performance on the first day and like, people were maybe talking smack and then I was like, all right, well, finals day, like, kind of let them know. <laughs> we'll open it up a yeah. little bit. And yeah. so to walk away with second, I was like, all I wanted in the, to come into this was to make it past the first round so I could go to bald base and then to make it all the way to the finals and like, get pretty damn close. Now, now you're, yeah, <laughs> dude, super, I mean, man. Yeah, it's su insane. Super close. Well, should have went to a tiebreaker, buddy, but <laughs> hey, I guess he did pretty good. We got bald face <laughs> for that. Got bald or face. Or you might just completely kick my ass up there. Who knows? Yeah, there we go. It's not a terrain park up there. It's the mountains. Big Air Jam. <laughs> Don't forget the name. <laughs>